Hello and welcome to another Salesforce and Trailhead tutorial with myself, Jonathan Fox. And today I wanted to go through the developer console um, because I think it's a super useful feature for not only developers but also for admins and consultants. Um, first of all, I wanted to apologize. I've not made a video in a long time. And as you can see today, there is no camera involved. Going back to work, um, up and down with the whole pandemic, um, I'm currently not working in uh, from home anymore. I'm working from the office. I don't have access to my video equipment anymore. Um, not easily anyway. So instead of delaying another release of a video, I thought I'd just do a quick one today. So the developer console, what is the developer console? So I'm heading over to Salesforce. Many of you will have clicked the setup cog before and you may or may not have felt inclined to click it, but here is the developer console. Now you click develop console and it will open into a new window. Really nice quick tip to start with. Um, I hate having lots of windows open, especially when I'm trying to debug um, Apex or when I'm trying to debug my line and web components with my um, Chrome develop console. I try and keep everything either in one window or as organized as possible. So if you click develop console, yes, it opens into a new window. If you're on a MacBook, hold command and click it and it'll open up into a new tab. And you'll see something like this. Now the developer console has lots of cool features. Now you can see there's a couple of logs down here and this is where I'm going to start. For example, we can see that this log here contains um, an operation which has uh, the, the path of flow. And we can see here that because I've ran a flow, um, this one is called uh, create case. It allows us to see what's happening with um, th throughout that flow. Now I haven't gone through the whole flow, but we would see steps here when I've gone through each step of the flow. You can also see here that on this, um, this is a user record, we can see that something's happened here. So if I click on this and we can see that a validation rule has fired and it has actually satisfied the validation rule. So you can see that actually I was trying to change uh, in my sandbox, my Trailhead's playground, uh, my username. So many of you probably know that you can't change your username um, in, in Trailhead sandboxes. Um, you can, you just need to turn off the validation rule on the user object. A lot of the time people don't even think about doing that. But in the develop console here, we can see that the reason why it stopped us is a validation formula. So this is another thing that we can look at. Why is this good for admins? Well, imagine somebody has created a validation rule without you knowing in production, or someone's created a flow and you didn't know about it, you create a record and for some reason three more records of a different type have been created that you didn't expect. If you run the same process, but with the developer console open, you'll be able to grab these logs and have a look at what's going on. So it helps you eliminate the, the unknown, you get to see what's happening, why it's happening. Some other cool features within the developer console. So you can see there's quite a few cool tabs down here. I'm not gonna go through them all, but we've got tests. So if you are a developer and you want to have a look at your tests that you've run, your Apex tests, this is where the logs will come up here. You can see how long it took. You can see um, if they passed, they failed. You can add some checkpoints, um, just like you can with any other um, code that you run, you can add some checkpoints, breakpoints, so that you can see what's happening at certain points. But this one is also a really nice tab for both developers, admins, and actually consultants as well. Sockle and Sossle. You want to quickly find some records, or a list of records, or some information about records. If you know Sockle, select ID from user. Let's just do a really basic there you go. So now we've got all our um, IDs from our user records. Add um, first name, is that the API for it? There you go. So we can see now how we can start quickly looking through our records. Add profiles in there, see what profiles people are assigned to. It's quicker, easier. If you get into the swing of it, it's quick, quicker and easier than um, having to run a report or create a list view because let's be honest you don't need to create a report if you're only going to do it once we don't need to clutter with reports same with list views we don't need to create a bunch of private list views just to do something like this really nicely what you can do is you can actually edit inline edit change it so let's put 
my name is John, and we go save Rose down here. That will save. The little red uh, corner is gone, and now that uh, you that record has been updated. We can even insert, delete, and if we want, we can refresh the grid. Now, apologies in the background. You probably heard my uh, my dogs just then. Uh, it's my dog's birthday. Love dogs, love animals. So she's whining because I want, she wants me to play with her. So Lola, I will play with you in a minute. Um, let's have another look. So if you hover over or click, should I say, on this record, you can also open detail page or edit page and it will actually take you to those records within Salesforce. Now let's quickly run through here. We can go new and here you have access to most, not all, but most um, developer styled um, creations, Apex classes, triggers, pages, lightning components. You can open any of the resources, you can open some logs, raw log if you want to have a bit more granular information you can then copy and paste it into something like VS Code and have a real dig down and search throughout the log. Here we can do find and replaces, searches, general things that you'd, you'd expect to find in an, in an edit tab. Open Execute Anonymous, really cool if you just want to run a quick bit of script, you want to quickly update a bunch of records via Apex, or you want to fire um, a particular action um, on a one-off occasion. Here you can write some a quick couple of lines of Apex code. Um, you can change the perspective of this develop console, I'm not going to go into that today, more aimed at developers. Here we can run our tests and we can create test suites if we are wanting to test a bunch of Apex. Here we can create some workspaces if you have different um, reasons why you want to be using the develop console and then if you want to have a look at any preferences. Component library is really cool to have a look, it's an external resource and then shortcut keys, everyone loves a good shortcut key. Thank you very much for listening. Not the best video in the world, I understand, and I apologise that I haven't been super active recently when it comes to um, creating videos. I aim to get my video equipment back out and start making some more content, so please do feel free to post some comments in the uh, in the space below. Let me hear, let me see, let me hear what you want to see next, what kind of things you want to learn, and what you want to see me post about. But until next time. I was Jonathan Fox and thank you very much for tuning in.